27. It says, so that one man shall desire to see another. Well, that communication's gonna be cut. The dude we was talking about. Yo, this man, I, I just wanna call that apostle. I wanna call that brother. But yeah, you left the brother. And, it, and that's gonna be a plague on his mind. And all you fucking guys that left, you gonna be really thinking about the brother, like how we fare. Yeah, I wonder your ass gonna be in the damn concentration camp. You might see a brother in there. Laughing his head off like Joker and shit. <laughs> <laughs> laughing and shit. And then they like, hey, yeah, you know, t tomorrow we're gonna chop your goddamn head off. What the what hell? Oh, shit, all right. Come on, all right. Hey, hey, you might, you might actually say to Esau, hey, my nigga, my nigga, my nigga. My nigga. Why not, right? Hey, can you do it now? <laughs> no, hey, 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 why wait till the bar? Wait, wait, wait till the bar. Can you do it right now? They might give you that last meal. <laughs> Mikey, that last meal. Go ahead. Huh? Verse 28. Uh, it says, For a city, for a city there shall be ten men, ten left, and two in a field, which shall hide themselves in the thick groves and in the clefts of the rocks. Woo! So people gonna be hiding wherever they can hide. It's gonna be death, destruction, chaos, famine, plague, everything that, that you could imagine. And even things beyond the wildest trees. Time like never before. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Go ahead Verse 29, on. it says, as in and as in the orchard of olives, upon every tree there are there are left three or four olives. Verse 20, verse 30 it says, or when as a bank, as a vineyard is gathered, there are some clusters of them that diligently seek. Though the through the through the vineyard, it's talking about the men of the Lord. We're in that we're in the we're in that we're in the grove, but we actually want the Lord. We actually want we actually want to be right with the Lord. But it's actually going into men hiding in the fields. I ain't gonna be nowhere to really hide. The Lord sees you. If He wants you dead, like we mentioned earlier, brother read it. Those to death to death. Those to the famine to the famine. Those to the sword to the sword. Those for the beasts and the fowls of the heaven to slay and destroy, you're gonna be destroyed. Ain't no escape. Amos the fifth chapter. Amos the fifth. Lion man. Damn. The hand of the serpent, bitch. No escape. No escape. The only escape is gonna be for the men of the Lord. That's it. That's it. Hey, that's that's the standard being lifted up. That's right. Because it goes into escape, disappear, reappear. Like the Lord gonna be getting whisking you up out of there, man. Go ahead, Verse thirty-one. It says even. So in those days, there shall be three or four of them left by the search. By the soldiers. But, 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 verse, verse 34, 31, it says, even so in the, those days, there shall be three or four left by them that search their houses with the sword. And that, it goes into the soldiers search. I'm not sure. I ain't nobody here. Move on to the next song. Like the, the, uh, the sister that had that vision of the damn Chinese motherfuckers taking shit over. They was going house to house. Let you know the dog. Next up. Let you know the dog. Like it just was, it was what? It was seeing them go house to house until they was getting to the house. He was at like house to wall. They got him out of there. And then the spirit of the Lord like made her kind of like float up. Like she threw up onto the it's just the spirit of the Lord, man. There's going to be a lot of things happening. Oh, and like the other vision she had of soldiers taking her, they about to do their thing, you already know. Brother, brother, Probably go rape, and then, yeah. but then she called out, Yahweh, Yahweh, please help me. And brother, brother from Great Millstone, yeah. came out, ding, 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 ba. You okay? <laughs> you all right? <laughs> you know? Man, so that's it. They would be willing in the day of our power, like the brother Zoxy. Right. Hey, bro, imagine like a damn robot coming, choo, choo, choo. If you do not enter into your homes, you will be shot. You just see a brother step out into the mist, Challenge cape blowing. <laughs> Challenge. Like, yeah, what the fuck? It's shooting this shit. You moving this shit faster than the wind. Bing, bing. Wow. Like, imagine that. Yeah, bro, 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 my brother's going to be on them chariots, man, for war stories, bro. Man. <laughs> How they got out, you know? Yeah. Ah, lasering out the, uh, out the detention center, flying up out of <laughs> You know? Oh shit. It's a whole building now. Go ahead, huh? Verse 32. It says, and the earth shall be shall be laid waste. Woo! 
and the fields thereof shall wax old. Man, if you still remain, I am legend status. You ain't gonna be like, hey, this is a uh, Robert Neville calling to anybody out there and shit. You gonna be like, God bless you, my side. Why you gonna be praising the Lord because you getting through them days. And if you run to a brother like, brother, yeah, you know, like that's all it's gonna be, man. We ain't gonna be looking for nobody else. We ain't gonna be praying for nobody else but the elect. That's right. Go ahead, huh? Verse 32 again, it says, And the earth shall be laid waste, man. and the fields thereof shall wax old. If they the damn vines go take over the streets and buildings and shit, showed you how I am legend the lions was in the street. When they seen him, they like backed up. Hey, the beast gonna be in league. They gonna be at peace with us. We gonna be in league with the stones of the field. And her ways and her paths shall grow full of thorns. Yeah, everything is gonna be, roads are gonna be cut off, if not by military. It's gonna be by destruction, damn whole freeway broke down, fucking road, there's cars and shit is there, stop, park, people dead in the car. This is roads is gonna be cut off. You're gonna be like, man, I don't wanna get out. Your how about Shima Shai is gonna be our guy. That's why it says that. Cause you in your own mind, like, oh, nah, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna out. But you following the spirit of the Lord, you're like, go that way. Turn there. Stop. You might see one four four in the car. And keep going. You know, like hope. <laughs> you know, like, it, there's going to be signs, man. Later. Continuing on in 32, it says, Because no man shall travail there, there, there through. Verse 33, it says, The virgin shall mourn, having no bridegrooms. Hey, that goes in Isaiah 4, 1. The women, the virgins are going to mourn, having no who? Bridegrooms. Bridegrooms. The, the, the ones that they thought they was going to marry or do look cute and all that. He's dead. And you don't know who the hell else is out there. Communication is cut off, so you see a man, you might be like, is he here to like take advantage of me? Or it's gonna be a very scary time. Wait, 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 wait. Verse 33 again, it says, the virgin shall mourn having no black grooms. Uh -huh. The women shall mourn having no husbands. No, nope, the husband's gonna die. They're gonna go out to the streets, be killed. The military gonna take them. A damn group of niggas might take them and abuse them. We, the civil war gonna take them. War gonna take them, the detention center gonna take them. Oh, yeah. the, their daughters shall mourn having no helpers. So they, Cause the women need the men. Like right now, I don't need the nigga, the nigga can't do nothing to me. But you gonna need them to, to bust your ass out of a fucking elevator or, <laughs> like this brother says, if you in a, a big ass high rise, the power go off and the elevator is out, you gonna have to fight your way down the stairs yep. and shit. <laughs> and it's gonna be dark and scary and shit. And dude, just gonna stay in the fucking apartment. I mean, you ain't gonna have no helpers. Yep. Bugging out, and then my man Diego gonna get in there. Yeah. 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 He gonna get in there, and ain't nobody gonna come to your aid unless you're of the hopeful land, like that sister. The brother of Gray Millstone came through. In the name of the Lord. Hey. That's right. That's right. You okay? All in the name of the Lord. All in the name of the Lord. You know, like uh, like on uh, Back to the Future, remember he punched out Biff? He was looking at his fist like, and he seen on the ground, are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> That's what it's gonna be, man. I mean, you gotta look at it like that, like, damn. Women really gonna need help. And brothers gonna need help. But we got the power, you got the power. You only gonna go help the bread. We gonna have a call on it. That's right. See, it Verse 34, it says, in, in wars shall their bridegrooms be destroyed and their husbands shall perish of famine. Man, because if, if the war don't destroy you and, and rape get you, detention centers, torture, what's going to get you? Famine and the pestilence because everything's shut off, dark. What's going to happen? The toiletry system is going to be turned off. Oh, Ain't going to yeah. be no damn sanitation. Uh, running Working, water. Running water going to be oh, off. Uh, so damn. <laughs> Go ahead. I, disease going to spray rampant. But upon the elect, it says, shall not come nigh thy dwelling. Right. Verse 35 it says, Hear now these things and understand them. Hear now these things and understand them. And all that I give you, get, yeah, understand it. Like you gotta understand, this is gonna happen. Oh, not my God. What's well, in the Bible? It's right there. This is what the Lord said He's gonna do. So you cannot believe it or whatever, but it's coming because these are the words of the Lord. It has to happen. In order for us to get to the kingdom, we have to go through these troubled times. Right. They say, how are you going to get to the broad field without going through the danger? Go ahead, huh? Verse 35. Right. Hear now these things and understand them. Mm -hmm. 
Ye servants of the Lord. Ye servants of the Lord understand these things. And the Lord said he's going to be for your good in that time of evil. That he's going to deliver you from the trouble. Keep going to the fourth. It says, uh, verse 36, Behold the word of the Lord, receive it. Behold the word of the Lord, receive it. Hey, it said, oh, many as received him, he gave him power to become the sons of oh, Yahweh. It right. said, the word of the Lord, receive it. Who's the word of Yahweh? That was made flesh and dwelt among us. Yeah. Yahweh shah hashiach. Receive him, kiss the son, lest he be angry, and ye perish from the way. Better worship. Yeah, yeah. That's your eyes. You can't, that's why you can't leave your post. Yeah. Man. Verse 36, it says, Behold the word of the Lord, receive it. Mm -hmm. Believe not the God of whom the Lord spake. Hey, don't believe in this demon Esau Edom. He's a God in this world, it seems, but he is not a God. He's a man. Don't believe in his karagma. Yeah, it seems as it is going to give you power. Oh, it's going to give uh, sight to the blind. It's going to give hearing to the deaf. But only so much so. Don't believe in that because you get in that is going to lead to your death, your demise, nuclear destruction upon you. But First, the elect know they ain't going to get that. Like, fuck that. You're going to trust in the Lord. Yeah, it's going to get bad. It's always fucking been bad. But we know in the bad, it's going to be good. That's right. Be good. Verse 37, it says, Behold, the plagues draw nigh and, not, and, 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 and are not slack. They ain't going to stop for you. They ain't gonna, well, I gotta go find me. Well, well the plague's gonna find your ass. I don't oh, find oh, myself, but well, the plague's gonna find you. Right. Go ahead, out. Go ahead, out. Wow, bro, that's, that's, that's scary, though. That's scary. Yeah, yeah. That's a scary thing. It says, 38, it says, as when a woman with child in the ninth month bringeth forth her son, mm -hmm. where in two or Three hours of her birth, great pains can pass her womb. She can't stop those birth pains, and she can't stop that baby from coming. It has to come. That's how these plagues are gonna come. That's how the karagma gonna come. That's how the war gonna come. That's how everything that Yahweh Shemashar said will come before his return will come. That's it. Go ahead, huh? Which pains, which pains, when the child cometh forth, they slack not a moment. Woo! Go ahead, huh? Verse 39, it says, even so shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth. Why? Because the Lord is speeding up the days. He's like, I got to bring these things and get my people out of this. They got to come. But niggas want to just say, no. It has to come, man. In order for us to get the kingdom, it has to come. In order for y'all to try to come back, it has to happen. Go ahead, huh? Verse 39, it says, even so shall the plagues be slack. Be not slack. Be not slack. So like you. Verse 39, even so shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth, uh -huh. and the world shall mourn, mm. and sorrow shall come upon it on every side. That's what the brother mentioned that net. It's an evil time to the sons of men. It has to come. It says, verse, verse 40, it says, oh, my people, hear my word. Make you ready to the battle. Hey, it's going to be a battle. But you got cowards and shit going out the back door and shit. Like, bro, the battle is here. Right. Fuck, fuck you going? The damn hunchback nigga. Throwing, throwing the shit. <laughs> you know what? I, I actually, Salaki, he actually leaving when the seed is about to get good. You know, it's about to really get to the point where we, hey, Lord about to give us that power, man, to defend hey, ourselves, hey, man. Hey, bro, he didn't do what my man Miles Morales did. Remember how he couldn't, like, just bring the power out? He was just, like, tied up and shit. And he's like, damn, and they like, we got to leave you here. You just ain't got it. He's, like, bugging out. And then he finally got that power, and then he believed it, so he took a leap of faith. He's like, how do you know that, that he's Spider-Man? He's like, you just know, you just gotta take a leap of faith. Yeah. And that's what these niggas that left didn't do. You didn't take that leap of faith to know, like, you got it through your how about you so I can do all things. That's right. Go ahead, huh? Verse 40 says, oh my people, hear my word, mm. make you ready to the battle, mm -hmm. and of those evils, be even as pilgrims upon the earth. We're gonna have to move around. We're gonna have to be soldiers. We're gonna have to be stable. I just had a dream like that. I was with a brother, not in our camp, but he was a brother. And we was just, uh, it was all out hell and chaos. And we was walking on the freeway. We went to a mall. And we was just out, just me and the brother. Just pilgrims, just moving from place to place. Did you bring that out in the uh, entrance? Yes. 
It's the book of Second Ezra, chapter seven, beginning at uh, verse six. So, like, you just to land back off the bro, even in a fight, you can't just stand still. You gotta, you gotta move around. You know what I'm saying? So, just get used to kind of like, you know, adjusting. You know what I'm saying? And it reads, there is also another thing. A city is builded and set upon a broad field, and it's full of all good things. Speaking of the kingdom of heaven, it says the entrance thereof is narrow and is set in a dangerous place to fall. Yeah. Like as if there were a fire on the right hand and on the left, a deep water. Hey, because everything around us in this place is set up to potentially try to take us out the truth. That's why it's so dangerous, but we gotta stay, we gotta be focused, concentrated. Yeah, I single, concentrated focus on the gate, the kingdom. Hey, the, the, the elder Mawatis, like he said it at the camp last week. He said one of his favorite movies is Bone Survivor. He said all they had in their mind was complete the mission and get home. But a nigga, a nigga don't want to complete the mission. I see the brothers is here to complete a mission, man, so we can get out of here, so we can get extracted. The mission is. Success. Now we need to be taken out of it. Like that's president. That's it. Want to look at a picture of his daughter? Yeah, man. That's your daughter, man. That's your baby. That's what uh, Yahweh Shai said. Yeah. My meat is into the will of my father. Finish. Get us out of here, man. Go ahead, huh? It says, uh, and one only path between them both. It's only one path. I'm gonna do my own thing. Like there's another path and shit, a sideways path and shit. No, it's one path. Fuck hey, you bro, hey, bro. Hey, he trying to turn his ass around, brother, like, pushing his ass. Yeah, the fuck you going, man? Hey, bro, when you came, <laughs> hey, before you came into the truth, you had your own path. You was doing whatever the hell you want to do. But when you came into the truth, you had a, there was, there was a, there was a process for you to stay in, the, stay on the path. But you going to turn your back on the Lord and, and go back into that same path you just came from? It was a lot. It was an office given to you, man. Yeah. yeah. Hey, just yeah. like uh, the high gate is a narrow way. Yep. Yeah. Also, uh, you know when uh, Leonidas killed that wolf, the only place he knew how to kill it, I was like, oh shit, if I'm out in the open, he gonna get me, but he went to that narrow, he fell back, ah, I got his ass. So, you leaving that narrow, your ass is fucking, you susceptible to anything, everything. And then you ain't got your shield, without your brothers, remember how they was behind Leonidas, and they had a nigga with the arrow, they was all right there behind him. What do you say, each brother, or each soldier protects him, and they had to his left, died to his neck. Hey, hey Salaki, even when you think about it in the world, the more people you have, it's a deterrent. You know, you, you'll think twice on running up on like five dudes to oppose yeah. the one, you know? Yeah. 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 Hey, even Gad got that saying with the arrows and shit, he'd be like, one arrow, we are weak. He break the arrow, and then he get a bunch, be like, many arrows, we are strong. Yep, yep. Yeah, and yeah, you can't yeah. break it. That old yeah, Ruby Pryor. Yeah. Right? Oh, shit. <laughs> 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 yeah. It says, uh, and one only path between them both, Ooh. even between the fire and the waters, right? So small that there could but one man go there at once. One man can go on this path at once. It's fire on one side, water on the other. What's the point of fucking turning around and jumping off or whatever? You got fire and you got water. You got to keep on going. You can't turn around because it's another brother behind you. Like, if this city now were given to a man for an inheritance, that city represents the kingdom. Now it's given to you for an inheritance. Yahweh Shai promised you this kingdom. He said, it is our father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. You just got to get there. It's already prepared for you. Watch. Be a soldier, man. And endure, and I shall have a crown of life for you, man. Crown laid up for you, but a nigga gonna allow this world and his stupid ass problems to have his crown taken. Go ahead, huh? If, if he never shall pass the danger set before it, is a danger set there. You should have known the, the job before you took it. Like, I know what I'm about to experience. This job. Count the cost. Go ahead, huh? How shall he receive this inheritance? Hey, and it's funny how the Lord said he sit it down and build a tower. And what does the tower also represent? Your ass really don't believe because your tower ain't even fully fucking built. It ain't even no top area. It's just halfway, half no done. Yeah. Uh, 
You know, you, you really don't believe in the Lord. You act like you do, but you don't. You do to fill out. You niggas that do your own thing, you don't believe in the Lord. Because you can't do it on your own. He said, without me, you can do nothing. You, he's the vine, we are the branches. Without the vine, we can't grow, we can't do nothing. Can't live. Can't live. Well, I, and I said, it is so, Lord. Then said he unto me, even so also is Israel's portion. Woo! Because for their sakes, I made the world. Hey. And when Adam's transgressed, for their sakes, not for just that one guy right there. That's him. For their sakes, it's a group. group. The elect is a group. It ain't just one, one person. Body. It's a group of people. Go ahead, huh? It's a group of the Israelites. Says, uh, I'm going to do my own thing shit, <laughs> but it's a group. <laughs> Bro, I was just telling the brother, like, the brother's reading, the, the Lord's prepared a, a kingdom for you, but you leave the Lord, but you want to set up your own kingdom? Yeah. That's like, like, what? You have a kingdom. You want, like, it's already prepared. Why you gotta try to? Why you gonna make it harder for you to try to make your own kingdom, which is gonna be worse than anything else? Even this kingdom is better than gonna be any better than your kingdom because it's of the Lord any goddamn way. That's right. Everything niggas trying to kill us from the store. Anything. Because it's not the Lord. Right, I... Because for their sakes I made the world, and when Adam transgressed my statutes, then was the creed that now is done. And it's a hard way to get back into that state that we were in before. But through Yahweh Shai, he is the doorway to get to this broad field, this kingdom. Niggas is gonna leave that, just close the door silently, and go some other way. Try to get in through the window, and shit, you a thief in a rough. Go through the door, man. Then were the entrances, the entrances of this world made narrow, uh -huh. for the sorrow and travail. They are but few and evil. These days are few and evil, but yet, it is for a purpose. Because the days of rest and peace is innumerable. It's infinite. Oh yeah. Full of perils and very painful. Yeah, so you leave, the life is still full of perils and evil. And you and when you alone, your ass ain't gonna be helped up because you're alone. Oh yeah. For the entrances entrances of the elder world were wide and short and brought immortal fruit. Man. If then they that live labor not to enter these straight and vain things. You gotta labor to enter into these straight, difficult things. You you have to labor. But if you labor by yourself, you ain't gonna get nothing done really. You're gonna be moving around, running. Like, damn, I can't, I can't get it all done. You need help. That's gonna that's that's that that's that that's have that's that survival mode. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, Ian. Yeah, that's that's Ian shit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, huh? They can never receive those that are laid up for them. Woo! Now, therefore, why disquietest thou thyself, seeing thou art but a corruptible man? And why art thou moved, whereas thou art but mortal? But mortal, so we need help. We don't end it on that, that song. We don't hold up because the Lord has to save us. We can't save ourselves. We can't do it alone. We need the Lord. This is uh, Psalms 37, and 39, and 40. So lock it, let me get it. Uh, here it is. This is Psalms 37, 39, and 40. It says, but the salvation of the righteous is of the Lord Yahweh. The salvation, the salvation of the righteous is of Yahweh Shai. Those that love the Lord, their power, all that might, strength, soul, and loving their neighbors as themselves, because they see every brother as yeah, Yahweh Shai. That's right. But you want to do your own thing. Go ahead, huh? Verse 39, it says, but the salvation of the righteous is of the Lord. Yep. He, is the, he, is the, he is their strength in the time of trouble. Woo! The Lord, Yahweh, Bashim El Shai, shall help them mm. and deliver them. Them is a them, is it not deliver him? Right, right. <laughs> that dude over there. Them, them. Go ahead. I, it says, and the Lord Yahweh Bashimel shall help them and deliver them, and He shall deliver them from the wicked Woo! and and save them because they trust in Him. So He's gonna save and deliver us, the elect, was one where those men from the wicked, Esau, Edom, because we trust in Him. Right. And hey, we can't just go directly to the Heavenly Father alone. We have to go through His Son, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai. Him. Him. 
So with that, hey, bro, got any closing words? Hey, bro, just remain obedient. to unity, man. Let let uh, 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 let the love of the brothers, you know, continue. You know, be cherish the brotherhood. Because there's diligent brothers out there that are doing this thing solo. Yep. Right. Man. So if you have the opportunity to be around brothers, man, you need to take advantage of that through the spirit. And right. don't take advantage of the brothers either, bro. That's right. Don't. I mean that you could take advantage of the brothers, but don't have a mindset of taking advantage of the brothers, man. Yeah. Just don't cover that for another brother. Thank the Lord when he gave you and cherish that and move with it. The Lord going to do mighty things in the earth, bro. Man, that's it. You always say, put your best foot forward and watch the Lord put that up, put that foot so far that you can't see, but you believe. You have to have the belief of faith. That's the gift of faith from the Lord. It's a, it, You can't see it, but it comes directly down from you. You feel it. Feel it. You can't take, you cannot take nothing personal, bro. No. You, this, you can't take shit personal because we are in that warlike state. We're, right, right. Yeah, that's it. With that, giving all praises, glory and honor unto Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakwadash. Shalom, ETA, above the wall, yeah!